So, we're short. We're short? Yeah. We are short. By how much? That's the kicker. We're short by one student. One student. One stupid student. Are you kidding me? The dean thinks one student's gonna make a difference? I don't know, man. You know how anal he is about his budgets. He's convinced if we get one more student to enroll this year, all our financial problems will be solved. But we don't have any more interviews scheduled. When does he want a recommendation by? Today. Today. Or we're fired. Or we're fired? What sense does that make? I don't know. I think he still blames us for accepting that pyromaniac that kind of burned down the science center. But he had an amazing essay. How are we supposed to know? God. Well, what are we going to do? We finished all our interviews last week. Look through the waitlisted files. Uh, start calling any. If any can see us today, the give it a shot. List? Oh, God. Hey, our backs are against the wall here. If we don't find a diamond in the rough, we're out of here. Okay, I'll start making calls. Hey, keep your head up. The waitlisted kids probably aren't as bad as you think. Thank you for coming in on such short notice. I'm glad you could fit me in. My life has just been so busy lately. Oh yeah, with what? Oh, you know, applying to schools, end of the club end of club wrap-ups, uh, getting into prestigious summer programs, and I'm being filmed in a documentary. A documentary? Really? Yeah, you know, it's crazy. My brother knows this guy. He's doing this thing about high schoolers, like a gritty, realistic piece, all about kids over the country. And, you know, he just thought I was interesting. So they follow you around everywhere? Uh, yeah, and actually I, I probably should have told you th this on my phone, but they're right outside the door. And, you know, it's weird and everything, but they're completely respectful, very quiet. You'll hardly know they're there. Oh, uh, I'm sure they are. I just, I have a reputation at this school and I don't... Oh, they'll blur your face. Oh yeah, and if you sign and check this uh, text box, all your licenses uh, will be good. Oh, well, it's not that I don't trust you, it's just you have to be very careful these days. You signed it! Great, 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 okay, hi, nice to meet you. Hey Zach, how you doing? So uh, what I want you to do is gotta be the next Jake Paul, right? The next yeah. Keemstar, I wanna see you as obnoxious as possible, okay? Uh, I thought this was for a documentary. Cut! Can't you just do your job? We're trying to get this quick. Let's make this quick. Let's go. But he said this. This is a documentary, yeah, but like, it's a series of documentary short films. It's premiering on the T4 network on Sundays at 10 o'clock. T4, the reality teen music channel with those spoiled birthdays and all that karaoke drama queen? Oh, good. You're a fan. Let's uh, just ask some questions and then we can get out your hair. No, I won't. I can't be on that show. Ah, but you should have looked at the contracts, Brian. It says right here, if you don't do this, you will be fined $20,000. Oh my god! $20,000?! Look, man, I'm not asking you to do anything crazy. Just say a couple of questions, and then we'll be out of your hair. Fine. Let's just... Fine. Okay, alright. Alright. And Zach, remember what we talked about. Action! Okay, Zach? It's pronounced Zachary. Okay. No E, the E is silent. Okay, fine, Zachary. Why do you want to go to this university? Well, first of all, for the party. Second of all, to meet some totes hot babes. Totes, you say? Well, uh, is there any other reason you would like to go to the university? Is there anything you'd like to say about your major? What do you mean, major? Major, like a degree. Like, how hot it is outside? You don't know what a college degree is? No, I'm totally dumb. But at least I'm not stupid like you. Cut! That was stupid, obnoxious, just what everybody wants to see. I loved it! Fully, and in the, confession, the confessions, we should say how creepy and like how he was like hitting on me. Oh, I know, right? Pedophiles. 
What? Let's go! Talent! <clears throat> yeah, yeah. No, no, it's fine. I'll move my Tuesday to Thursday and flip the thing with the thing I have next month. We'll make it work, no worries. Um, excuse me? Yeah, shut up for a second. Yeah, I gotta wrap this up. I'm sorry, alright? We're gonna make this work. I'm hungry. I'm pumped. Let's do it. Alright, see ya. You're Brett? You're 30 minutes late. Yeah, I had a thing, man. No worries. Let's just grind through this, right? Okay, but, well, it's inconvenient for me. I, I have another prospect. Yo, how much student. do you bench, man? Look at your arms. O okay, then. Let me... I'll find my questions. Um, Here, hold up a second. Give me another call. Marty! Marty no doubt. How's it going, buddy? Oh, no. I'm not doing anything. Don't worry. Oh, really? Was she hot? <laughs> That's awesome, man. All right, good luck with that. Here we go. All right, see ya. Okay. It, All right, go. It's it's inconvenient for me, you know. I have another prospective student, Brett. So. Man, the next one's garbage. I already talked to her. Don't even worry about it. Okay. Okay, we'll do the questions then. All right. You know what? Let's just skip the questions, all right? I'm gonna do the questions. I'm taking the ship. So here's me. I'm a self motivator. I'm extremely confident, and I'm the life of the party. So what do you say we just uh, blow through this, all right? If I'm the captain, you're driving the boat. We good? No, we're not good at all. Cranberries, but... baby, let's go. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, I just found this lame face to face. Oh, killed it. Are you kidding me? It's the Brexter. And the entire audience is completely drenched. Oh, man. Wow. Needless to say, that was the last time I ever went to SeaWorld. Bet. I gotta say, everything looks great. Solid SATs, GPA well above the school average. And let's be honest, your essay was quite moving. Well, uh, it's a great university. I'd be honored to attend. Hey, we'd be lucky to have you. So, uh, by any chance are you applying to any other schools? Nope, just here. Oh, great, great. So, uh, yes? I'm in? Well, no, I don't have the authority to just let you in right now. Sit down. Uh, I'm sorry? Sit down, won't you? Is there a problem, Ben? That depends on you. For reasons I cannot entirely explain, it is vital that I attend this university. I have been meticulously planning this day. Years of AP courses, SAT prep, all in the hopes of hearing an acceptance today. Ben, I don't have the authority to just let you in right now. There are forces at play here, friend. Forces you cannot possibly comprehend. But believe me, it is very vital. And not just to me, but to the entire student body and faculty that I am enrolled in this fall semester. Many lives hang in the balance. You don't want to be responsible for the loss of life, do you? How is me letting you in going to help save lives, Ben? The world is a series of connections and plans. Each action has a reaction. Each action has a consequence. And this action, this decision, will be the most important one you'll ever make. <laughs> ben, you're being incredibly vague, and it's not as simple as me just letting you in. An oral agreement is legally binding. It is that simple. Ben, wait, look, it's practically a done deal here, right? I'm gonna give you a great recommendation. That's not what I'm asking for! Ben, let's not ruin what a great interview was by... I'm not leaving until I get my answer. Well, uh, you're going to have to because I have another prospective coming in at 3.30. No, you don't. Your 3 o'clock canceled this morning. You don't have another student until 4.45 with Rebecca Smith. Are you looking through my emails? Look, I don't know what went wrong here, but I'm gonna have to call security, okay? Hello? Hello? Phone troubles? Who are you? A name is but a label. And I have many labels. But that's not important right now. What's important is that you tell me exactly what I want to hear. Ben, if I could, I would. It's just you... It's just an outage, friend. Circuits break all the time. Why are you doing this? I'm not doing this, you're doing this. And it can all go away with just three little words. But it won't! No, those aren't the right words. Say it. Just say it! Fine. 
You've been accepted. You've been accepted. Upon hearing of your acceptance in the fall, you'll be enrolled. Oh man, that's great. I gotta call my mom, thank you so much. All right, Harold, well, thank you very much for coming in today. Thank you for having me. Um, oh, did you have trouble finding the Barrow Building? That's a personal matter. I'd rather not answer it. Huh? Uh, oh, okay, well, well, let's get started, shall we? Well, let me start off by telling you how we differ from other schools in the state. Now, we're a smaller school, so it allows for more personal uh, interaction with the professor and you, but we have all the resources of a bigger state school. So athletic, uh, athletic facilities, funding, all that sort of thing. It's, it's really great here. Perfect. My biggest fear has always been just getting overwhelmed at a lecture hall. Um, that is exactly the atmosphere we want to avoid here. Have you thought of a major yet? That is my mother you're talking about. Did, you didn't ask if for a picture of my mother in a one-piece bathing suit? No, I, I, I didn't, Hello. <sighs> Okay, allow me to explain. I have a very rare condition called chronic questimixtidus. It's a neurological disorder that ma renders me incapable of hearing any question correctly. And by correctly you mean? Every time you ask a question, I hear a completely different thing. Well, how come I've never heard of this disease before? Elner Roosevelt. I, I probably should have told you about my condition when I came in. I just don't want to make a big deal about it. Well, Harold, I, I don't know what we can do exactly. I mean, a college interview is all about asking questions. So if a deaf person came in, you just refused to interview them? Well, no, I'd, I'd have a translator present so we could, we could ask questions. Well, I'm sorry it's not recognized as a legitimate disorder. I just want to be a normal person. Well, I suppose. Shall we continue with the interview then? Uh, grade 7. Can't remember her name. All right, well, what extracurricular activities are you interested in? If it's a hot day, my right nipple. What's, what's your favorite subject in school? I'd say six and a half on a good warm day. What's your favorite color? I'd say the Pope, but I wouldn't really go near him. Is it me or is this completely pointless? Toronto. All right, well, um, thank you so much for stopping by, Harold. Uh, goodbye. Thank you. Do you need directions to get back on the 401? I think I'd go with the small one, but I don't know if that's creepy. So? Not one. Not one? Not a single one. Well, clearly you must have been too critical here. Hey, if you want to look through the trash heap that is my wait list, be my guest. But if you're looking through mine, I'm looking through yours. Hey, uh, what about Ben? No. He has a perfect SAT. Just trust me on this one. No. What about Harold? Um, he didn't seem so bad. Good luck with that one. Uh, Brett? No. This one's on a TV show. 